Well, first, before we talk about the game, um, Coach Leonard Haynes couldn't be here today. He's experiencing some uh, health issues. The head coach at Northwood, one of the best human beings I've ever met. So uh, all the best wishes to Coach Haynes and his family and the Northwood uh, community. I know he doesn't want anybody to make a big deal out of it, but uh, I wish him all the best and, and, and uh, give him my love. In regards to um, the game, you know, obviously uh, it's nice to win. Um, I thought, uh, and I told our guys this, you know, I thought Northwood was going to fight the whole game. You know, they're, uh, they, you know, they, they've played everybody tough this whole year. Um, they don't, they don't care truthfully what their record is. Um, they just play for the right reasons and they play hard. And and I knew they're going to be like that. And you know, they took the first possession, drove down the field, scored on us. And you know, they they. Uh, you know, they played with great effort and great passion, and, and so I was very impressed by them. Um, you know, from our perspective, uh, you know, we, we settled in a little bit, hit some big ones um, on offense. Defensively, I thought, you know, um, you know we're, we're a stout defense. We defend the pass really well. Um, we got the capacity to be really good. But I think, you know, bottom line is attention to detail. If this team can can bring some attention to detail in our work weeks, um, you know, we got a chance to be really good. But I know that sounds kind of funny and negative being 7-0. and but, but, you know, we got a high standard for how we play. And we certainly got to do some little things a little bit better. I noticed you know, on the sidelines, it's a little. There's a little bit of high tension between both the teams. Uh, what's kind of your attitude towards your guys, and how much they interact with the other team, and are you know, where do you want their focus? Well, my attitude is the other team really isn't. Uh, you know, I, I to me, I always tell our guys, you know, it's. Uh, it's an opponent, you know, that, that you don't look at, at their jersey color. Um, they don't, you don't look at their number. Um, you know, you focus on you. And if we can focus on us and, and um, you know, play with a little bit more discipline, um, that's my message. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's very important to focus on the things that you need to do as a player on a team. Um, to, to help your team be successful and not get caught up in, um, you know, anything else, you know. Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know what's going on out there. I don't know if they were talking, we were talking. I don't care. I really don't care. What I do care about is for our team to uh, play the way we need to play to be as good as we are capable of being. Coach, you've had Jay Rubeck for a couple weeks now. Can you just kind of talk about how happy you are with the way the offense has progressed at this point in the season? Well, we took our shots a lot. We wanted to take our shots. We still didn't throw the ball a ton. Um, it looks like 20 passes, but, you know, we completed uh, some big ones, you know, uh, for over 250 yards. So we want to take our shots. We've got the capacity to, to really, um, you know, make plays and, and stretch people vertically. Um, so, you know, it, it's a comfortable feeling. Um, I think for for Cy and the receivers, particularly that you know he's a guy that wants to you know throw the ball downfield. By the same token, you know we still want to be able to nibble and take the take the under routes when they're available. But uh, you know it's obviously comfortable to to have him back and you know get the full complement back and, and we're looking forward to T Russ coming back and and then we'll have the, the full three which is something that uh, we've been uh, looking to have happen here since the beginning of the year. Yeah and Sai you've had a couple of big games. How does it feel to kinda of get back in rhythm after not really seeing the ball much for a few games? Um honestly I, I really don't care about the games I have. It's it's dependent on our team win. Um uh, games before the past couple games, we've just been running the ball very effectively. So, I mean, you can't really complain when you're putting up high numbers and our team's just rolling. Like, there's not a team, I think, in this entire country that can stop our run game. Yeah, and then uh, Amari, how do you feel, um, like, how's the energy on defense when you guys make those big plays? You got two interceptions today and two sacks for the defense. Um, what's the energy in the bond between you guys? Uh, I think this year the defense has a completely different uh, swag, if, if you will it to call. Um, just coming out there energized, knowing that we have to make every play, just read our keys, do our assignments. 
Mar, what do you what do you think is the biggest difference between the defensive backs from this season compared to last season? Just like I said, just the swagger, the will, the willingness for when we have the transfers and the freshmen and everybody coming to the team, for the willingness for the guys that have already been here to just open up and embrace them and show them how we do things at Ferris State while also allowing them to be who they are and come here and just combine all the energy into one and really come out. So I can just kind of give us your perspective on your touchdown play and what you saw as you went through your route. Um... It was a good play call. I know uh, in the uh, beginning of the game, uh, before that play, we ran that same play, and it was kind of open. It was a pass interference. So I think going into the play, we kind of all knew that it was going to be an open open uh, situation and took advantage of it. So all in all, it was a good good play call, good read by J. Rue, and yeah. For both Sai and Amari, it's the first and only time during the regular season that you'll have back-to-back -back home games. How nice is it to know that uh, next week you don't have to worry about traveling, you can sleep in your own bed and be right back here next week? Uh, with me, I think it's just more so being happy that I can just take a take a, a, a relax and a deep breath, just really locking in on homework in school. Wow, didn't we talk about playing this game at Detroit King this next week? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> no. I'm <laughs> um, kind of same thing. Uh, it's nice being home. We don't have to go traveling wherever we go. Um, I know after the next week we got Michigan Tech, so that'll be a hike. So the home games are really nice to have. Yeah, and then, Coach, just kind of looking forward the next few weeks. Got a couple big Gliac games left. What's your mindset heading into next week's game against SVSU? Yeah, it's going to be another big one. You know, we welcome Ryan Brady back, who was here for seven years with us, and and uh, Casey Center, who played here, and and uh, so you know, there's quite a few of them. You know, Eli was with us last year. He's our OC, and and uh, Jeremy Prudhomme was uh, helping us with mentality training. He coaches there, and I don't know, did I miss one? So um, you know, every every every. Every time we have this situation where we've got guys that, you know, like when, when Sparky, uh, you know, I think he has seven. And, and when, when Kyle came here from northern Michigan, you know, he had a few. So it's pretty cool to see. So it'll be fun. Welcome, uh, welcome Saginaw. Welcome Coach Brady and, and his staff back. And, uh, you know, they're a really good team. We know, uh, uh, we know, you know, he's done a really good job there. So we know it's going to be a battle.